Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. A man shall be presumed to be the natural father of a child if he and the child's natural mother are or have been married to each other and the child is born during the marriage or within 300 days after the marriage is terminated by death, annulment, declaration of invalidity or dissolution or after a decree of separation is entered by court. Who is my father? My type presumption is usually to protect parents and children, and also the sanctity of marriage by assuming the husband and wife have both remained true to their marriage vow. Until recently, it was the only practical way to deal with the issue of paternity. But however, the advent of genetic testing like DNA has changed all of that, and questions are now being raised. Whether DNA should always be used in establishing the paternity of children born during substance, subsistence of marriage. The Nigerian famous musician Davido has even added his voice and suggested his usage before child's education. After all, some churches insist on pregnancy tests before marriage. So what are your own thoughts? In Pictures and Pictures, the Rhodes Island Supreme Court was faced with a situation in which a man had known all along that he was not the biological father of his wife's child. Nonetheless, he raised the child as his own assuring the mother that he will always care for the child. However, when the couple divorced, the husband tried to de-establish his paternity. In resisting his effort to do so, the court noted, as deep as our concerns are for the husband, we cannot sanction the proposition that children can be embraced and raised by a person as a parent and then discarded when the parent no longer gets along. Children are not mere personal property to be assigned or distributed upon divorce. Mm. The relationship of father and child is too sacred to be thrown off like an old cloak, used and unwanted. However, on the contrary, in Russell and Russell, citing Clemvenger and Clemvenger, the Indiana Supreme Court was faced with a similar situation to that faced by the Pictures Court. But however, the court allowed paternity de-establishment to proceed. But in Nigeria, the court have still held on to the presumption of the fact that the husband is the natural father of a child born during the subsistence of a marriage, or at least 300 days after separation. Even some tradition, until you pay the bride price of a child, of a mother, you cannot claim to be the father of the child. It is that man who paid the bride price that is said to be the father of that child. The Court of Appeal of Nigeria in Tonia Anozie versus Patricia Okwawa Nani and another expressed thirst. It is unimaginable for a court to order a senior citizen to submit himself to a DNA test in defiance of his fundamental right to privacy for the purpose of extracting scientific evidence to assist a father to confirm or disprove his wish that a man is his child of an illicit amorous relationship. The court was persuaded by the position of the Court of Appeal in Anode and Mecca, where the court re-emphasized that all children are lawful and legitimate, the circumstances of their birth notwithstanding, and that the right to a legitimate status <coughs> must be viewed from the child's perspective as there is, no, there is no child without a biological father. Against that backdrop, I would therefore advocate that DNA should be a personal issue between husband and wife, who should be at liberty to determine whether they want to establish the paternity of their kids 
using DNA tests or through their trust for each other. And the sanctity of the institution of their union. After all, it takes more than two balls and a dick to father a child. The religious body or society should not browbeat anyone into going for a DNA test you are not psychologically ready for. Macho man, no daddy matter how. And some people actually never recover from it. Though in some cases, the men might even have the premonition of their spouse's infidelity. They're usually silent on it, either because of societal concern or the largesse from such amorous relationship. Lastly, communication is very key in every marital relationship. And if you can laugh at it, you can live with it. Not everyone might agree with me, though, but this is my position. So what is yours? I was waiting for where you would say, finally, you found out that Dangote was your father. No, <laughs> no way. Better you are rounding up. <laughs> <laughs> no, my father is my father. <laughs> because it was a question, who is my father? <laughs> I thought that was a <laughs> I think the position of the law is quite interesting, saying mm. that as long as that child is born while this marriage subsists, yes. the father is the father. Yes. The father in that marriage is the father of the kid. And it makes sense. If a boy or a girl has been born and you have nurtured him, you have brought him on, he has called you father, you have called him son, and then an interloper came up from somewhere exactly. else and said, no, I was involved in all of this. You can tell him to walk away yeah. and accept the son as your son. And the law stands by you. Yeah. You remind me of Ikeme Funa in Things Soul Apart. He calls you father. He said, that boy calls you father. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. It's just an aside. <laughs> I think the, right. the, 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 the level of infidelity, I would say, today in the society, you know, leads to or brings up in most cases all these issues of DNA and so on, you know, and with people trying to establish paternity over children or what have you. Uh, there was this report that of reasons, you know, gained some, uh, do I say, went viral, uh, where uh, it, it was said to have been produced by, I think, the, 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 the global um, the, is it pediatric by Direx uh, company. No, is this pediatric society of Nigeria, not of not of Nigeria. What, I think Nigeria is the second highest. Yes. Uh, they, they were the, the point the report was trying to establish is that out of every five children, two, their paternity is always in doubt. That report is uh, how many did they come to ask me? What was the how many did they come to was, ask you? Uh, no, if you say out of for every me, five. For if you say me, out of every five, the presumption is that I must be involved. <laughs> for me, it, it puts a question mark on our values as a people and how hypocritical we've all been in the past, or a lot of us have been. If a man and his wife have to sit down to determine, to, to, to decide to go for DNA hmm. uh, test over any of their children, it, it shows that there's a problem somewhere. I know of people who marry women who are pregnant. Yes. Or knowingly, willingly, they're knowingly they're that they're pregnant for somebody yeah, else and say, for one circumstantial will, reason or the other, and say, you. I will marry you together with this pregnancy and will be the father of, of, this, of this child. So that's our society. So, But this one lately we have of men discovering that this particular somebody is not, a, they know, is not they their child <laughs> or that they knew all along and were just playing along waiting for a time to pounce and then women... You know, having the tendency to do this even more often mm -hmm. is worrisome, as far as I'm concerned. Asha is waiting to it's pounce. It's worrisome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Asha is waiting to pounce. Uh, uh, well, uh, it, it, so for me, what I find uh, in all of this, uh, and I'm glad people are having this uh, discussion, is the fact that there's always a patriarchal arrogance in, in, in thinking about things. So yeah. where a man feels that they have a right to, to cheat on their spouses uh, and then have children outside, and then he feels that, oh, a, a, a woman can't do that. I mean, it's about individuals. It's not about the gender. It's about people who, That's true. who, who do not value the, their marriages and everything and doing so many things outside. Yeah, there are, there are, there are a lot of uh, children whom, they are, they are, when it comes to paternity fraud, there's a lot of it here. And then there's also another case whereby, beyond for me, when you check the paternity, also check the maternity. It's always, that's where you get it balanced. Because 
even as a child, I always I used to say that, oh, I'm sure there are a lot of people whom they got different children from what they gave birth to in the hospital. Right. And that's not, uh, the, right. the, you know, they, they went away with it. So for whatever case you're checking the paternity, please also check the maternity <laughs> and be sure of that. But let's come to the fact that let people not feel that because they are certain gender, they can do certain things that mm. it's either unlawful, even it. if it's not unlawful, mm. but morally or religiously, it's not. But the really Islamic standing from the little knowledge I have is that also of the law. The child is what is born into the family. So as a father, you cannot deny the paternity of your That's child. Islamically, uh, as long as you already married when she gave birth to that child, whether you do a DNA or you don't do a DNA, That's Islam true, will not recognize that you are the father, even when they're going to a certain amount of this. But I'm not very, I don't have that up my head, I would have said it. But the law right now, the Nigerian law and the Islamic law, they are more or less the same way. Yeah, uh, All right. uh, awesome, well, uh, awesome. Well. Uh, um, I said so. okay. Yeah, okay. awesome, awesome. And uh, for me, like I said, it is not... Um, it's not is everyone not... will agree with you. I, no, no, I don't. No, I no, 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 what, what I'm saying is, it is not a macho man thing. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Because no. I understand where Aisha why, is coming no, from. Is. Why is it that it's okay no, no, why I say for it's... men no, to have children uh, no, outside and not it. be saying DNA? You're getting my point. You're changing the topic. Getting my point. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying it's not a macho man thing to go say, ah, I want to go and do DNA. You may never even recover you from it. You may never recover from it. At times it's even better you don't know. Yes. As I said, not everyone would agree with me, including you. But it's not over because we can continue the conversation on our social media platform, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadca broadcasts, which are so many, more than 100, just simply go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus TV Africa. Until next week, same time on this station, let's keep advocating for a better society where we give knocks and we give kudos. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thanks. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.